ओम शांति फॉर हाफ एन आवर सो अप्रोक्सीमेटली वील हैव सम क्वेश्चन आंसर फ्रॉम यू क्वेश्चन एंड देन वील आंसर एंड देन वी स्टार्ट द टॉपिक एज सच सो हैव यू अंडरस्टूड मेडिटेशन आई यू हैड थ्री क्लासेस टिल नाउ अभी तक आपकी तीन क्लासेस हुई है मेडिटेशन के ऊपर आप कुछ समझ पाए मेडिटेशन क्या है वॉट इज मेडिटेशन एनी क्वेरीज अबाउट दैट एनी कुछ इसके बारे में प्रश्न है तो आप पूछ सकते हैं ये माइक यहां पर है यू कैन कम एन दो माइक रखे यहां पर सो दैट वी कैन सर्ट ऑफ आई वॉन्ट दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड मेडिटेशन यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड माइंड हाउ टू मॉडिफाई इट वॉट द मिस्ट्रीज द टॉपिक इज अनविलिंग द मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ माइंड will be dealing it in two 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 parts today we'll deal with one part part 1 and tomorrow morning we'll have our part 2 okay ha ji please i am dr jana i am a gynecologist i am not a cardiologist okay meditation sir you have told about wrong, so, much, so much of theory but we are not able to concentrate and how to do it that part practically we are not able to okay, earlier fine. we have thought of putting that is why i am actually that is why i am today i am talking to you about mind uh talking about meditation is something different and doing is different so i'll be dealing with you because we have only we have you know three aspects of uh, i'll be dealing with you that how we have only three we have three aspects of mind one is conscious mind which is about 5 to 8% subconscious mind which may be up to 15 to 20 percent and the unconscious mind which is about 80 percent right so the subconscious mind and unconscious mind has to be cleaned before then only you can have full concentration right so it is a yoga yoga you cannot learn you know no one can teach you yoga yoga needs to be practiced right it comes with practice with meditation what you do is you clean up your subconscious mind initially then slowly and slowly you keep on cleaning your unconscious mind that means cleaning means the subconscious becomes conscious then unconscious also starts become conscious and then you are able to have full control on mind that is meditation right basically so i'll be dealing i'll be i'll be discussing with you in scientifically uh what is conscious mind what is subconscious mind what is unconscious mind i'll be dealing with that separately initially i'm just trying to answer in bits bits and pieces then i'll try to you know go ahead or i can i invite questions first all the questions then i'll try to solve all the questions in my talk yes is meditation for example concentration hona hona aa gaya aa gaya strong negative vichar aata hai बॉडी रिएक्शन वो नेगेटिव को रिस्पॉन्ड करती है मेडिटेशन का पूरा का बड़ा हो जाता है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल ठीक कह रहे हैं ये बिल्कुल एक्सपीरियंस आपका बिल्कुल ठीक है दैट इज दैट इज द राइट थिंग विच हैपन इन द बिगनिंग वो आई आई टेल यू हाउ टू गेट रेड ऑफ इट हाँ जी आई एम डॉक्टर रेलवानी कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम पुणे थोड़ा सा आवाज ठीक कर लीजिए ऊपर कर लीजिए थोड़ा माइक हाँ जी माइक ठीक कर दीजिए इनका हाँ जी आई एम डॉक्टर रेलवानी फ्रॉम पुणे कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट i have been hearing on this meditation at various places right you see everywhere they have given only what are the benefits of meditation but i don't think anybody has explained to us what exactly is meditation how to perform and i know it is very difficult to control the mind but that is where we need lot of help that is what it is see uh, meditation is we uh, basically you will be taught meditation right today today and tomorrow morning we will be teaching you meditation because i understand the doctors are supposed to be doctors are scientists they are logical people and logical people the mind is logical very much logical doctors mind is always logical and the mind needs to be convinced before it accepts right you cannot make the mind accept forcibly right first you have to convince your mind that this is what it is first the logical mind should because emotional things people uneducated people become emotional faster than educated people right so we are educated we understand science first we need to un- understand the things logically then emotion then i'll tell you what is the difference between thoughts and emotions how the thoughts become emotions 
then we can, we can the emotions also come into play in meditation because without emotion you cannot have powerful meditation right so then we'll come to that aspect later on om shanti om shanti while in meditation we cannot see so steadily because we have you cannot see stay steady because we do a lot of movement because we have seen new people are half an hour one hour you don't move anything but we move the hand legs and all thing so it affect the meditation concentration power or not see basically uh, meditation is uh, meditation is a conscious training of the mind right meditation is a conscious training of the mind is a art of positive thinking which does not depend on movement of the body right Suppose a, a, a fly is sitting here, it, meditation does not mean that I don't make the fly go away, right? Sitting on my nose and uh, it doesn't mean that I don't make the fly go away, right? It's a conscious training of the mind, right? So it does not mean that even, I, even if I move the, my legs, even I am walking, talking or, you know, uh, doing, eating my food, the meditation is on, right? So med meditation is not sitting, you know, in that posture in or Padmasana or any Pasana or uh, it's just, you know, this conscious training of the mind, how to connect with the inner self and how to connect with the supreme soul. So that is what will we'll go systemat systematically. But what are the difficulties? That's why I took this topic, Unwillingly Mysteries of Mind. Why the, the thoughts, they, they, play, they, they play, you know, they, they come from the subconscious mind and the conscious mind and how they disturb our attention. They do not allow to concentrate, right? Please. So I'll be coming, you know, part by one, one part, you know, I'll start, start, but first I'm taking a few questions so that I understand what is the depth of meditation. What is the depth you have understood in last two days? Sir, myself, Dr. Gholova, I am practicing BMS, Ayurveda, but I am not understanding Aak Khuli Rakke meditation karo. Jab bhi Aak Khuli Rakke meditation ho, start ho jata hai, Aak close ho jata hai. Bilkul, bilkul, chik baat hai. बैठे बैठे मैं बताता हूँ। सी मैं इसको थोड़ा सा क्लियर करते जाता हूँ फिर बाद में आई गो इन डेप्थ ऑफ इट। सी मेडिटेशन अगेन आई टोल्ड यू मेडिटेशन इज़ अ कॉन्शियस ट्रेनिंग ऑफ़ द माइंड। मेडिटेशन क्लोजिंग आईज़ मींस यू कैन ओनली डू मेडिटेशन व्हेन यू आर क्लोज्ड आई विथ क्लोज and once you understand that consciousness, that I am instead of being role conscious, I am a doctor, I am so and so, I am a mother, I am a father, I am a husband, I am very experienced, I am a rich person, I am a businessman. Instead of that, I am a soul. My body's name is Satish Gupta and my role in the society is a doctor, professional. I am a cardiologist, I am a physician or I am a whatever, right? But that doctor role is only for six to eight hours or nine hours when I'm, I'm in the office, right? But in the house, I'm not a doctor. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a friend, right? So role consciousness is, so basically meditation is, so with that, with that change of consciousness, right? We need not, there's no need to close eyes. Once you close the eyes, what happens? You may initially, e.g., I'll, I'll come to that aspect, when you close your eyes, you, f you go into alpha rhythm, right? That gives you a feeling of peace. But can you work with closed eyes? Can you cook your food with closed eyes? Can you see your patients with closed eyes? No. Answer is no, right? So, but it has to be consciously, all the time you have to be soul conscious, right? And then with soul consciousness, you can go to not only alpha rhythm, but you can achieve theta rhythm and delta rhythm while evil, even working. That is what Dadi Janaki does, right? Dadi Janaki should be coming today at 7 p.m. And with open eyes, while doing arithmetic, it was done in US, Australia and UK. Her EG was conducted. Arithmetic problems were given. She was made to, you know, they, they tried to make, make her angry. And then the EG was on and still she could, she was, most of the time she was in delta rhythm, right? And delta rhythm is present only in deep sleep, right? So that is what the what you can achieve with this, with practice, right? And I have shown you in my slides that in the beginning, I showed you that heart at uh, the EEG. Actually, I could, could not, I did it with a little faster. But the even day seven, you can see perceptible difference in, perceptible increase in alpha rhythm 
to the tune of 170% increase in alpha rhythm by day 7 and improvement in theta rhythm and after one year the patient achieves delta rhythm even while working. That is what has been shown, right, in patients who are suffering from heart disease, documented on that. Please. How to avoid sleep during meditation? See, if you are, if you are thinking, if you are churning the knowledge, if you are thinking, churning, revising the knowledge, revising, revising the knowledge of the truth, then you will not get sleep. See, yesterday Gita went told you that meditation is, during meditation, we have to keep our mind, we meet the God or we have connected with the God with the, with the power of thought, positive thought, right? If you stop thinking, you will go to sleep. If you leave your mind idle, you will go to sleep, right? So we, we keep on thinking, right? The positive thoughts, the thoughts which are given to you. So that once you get busy in churning those thoughts, and then automatically you, you become you know, sort of absorbed in those thoughts, right? In, in that consciousness. I'll tell you how to do it, right? Systematically. Yes. Om Shanti. Sir, does this, uh, uh, like, I mean, age factor also plays important role in this uh, med meditation? Like, in no. younger and no, no. this older age, nothing. It, does, it doesn't play any part. Yeah. It, you can be as good as 5-year-old or 10-year or 15 or 80-year-old or 90-year-old, doesn't matter. Even education also doesn't have a part to play in this. Uh, you may be educated, uneducated. Like, we get heart patients who are, who have never gone to school, many of them. And we have, you know, doctors, the professors, engineers, scientists in the program and they have been sort of, they are educationists and they, they also, they understand equally good because it doesn't, it doesn't matter much. Right? Education or uh, age or caste does not matter. Meditation is for everyone, every human being. Because definitely younger can do better because their mind is, subconscious mind is cleaner than the older people, right? Sir, I am Dr. Raj, General Surgeon. I am practicing now and then the Raj Yoga in the local Can Brahm you make Kumari, it Brahm Kumari centers. Yes. But I am not able to con connect with the inner self. You are not able but, to connect. But now you are asking our uh, experiences. Please tell us with your experience how you are feeling with the... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, with sh I'll share with you. When you connect with the inner self or when you connect with the uh, um, Supreme. Yeah, I'll, I'll discuss with that. I'll discuss that aspect. Yes. I just wanted to know ki, uh, how does meditation help in curing depression in a person? Okay. Does it uh, also cure all the symptoms like ghabrahat or loss of sleep or excess yes. sleep? That's does it right. physically help the person? It does physically help the people. I, I'll tell you how, to, how, do, how it does. How, I'll tell you. I'll share with you. Om Shanti. Yes. Uh, sir, I, uh, my question is related to her. Um, I have uh, heard many Actually, medita meditation, I have seen people suffering from uh, documented deep depression uh, and the minor depression. Minor depression gets better very fast and deep depression also people are able to stop medicines within, you know, f a few months, right? Totally off, off medicines. Initially, I'll tell you because medicine, uh, depression is a stage when you sort of, you know, uh, when the people are in deep depression, they, they, they don't understand meditation. Then they need the help of, you know, we, we, need, the, we need love, selfless love, you know, that uh, so-called unconditional caring, unconditional dignified caring for people who are depressed. That initially that thing is required and then as you sort of, the person comes out of that, then we start teaching them meditation and they understand, then they start doing it and they're out of it. Initially they may require the help of, help of medicines, but later on they're off medicines very soon. The many of the patients, you know, who we, are, uh, we, are, we can treat them like this. I have read many articles. I have even heard two doctors, psychiatrists uh, saying that um, uh, depressed patients or bipolar patients, they should not do meditation. Yes, you are very right. The people who are suffering from schizophrenia and depression, endogenous depression, they should not be taught meditation because they do not have loss of sight, loss of insight, right? So they need, we call it sakash. We need to help these guys these people with love, right? Unconditional, dignified care, that is love. And once they, you sort of, and then 
giving them single thoughts. I have treated many patients with schizophrenia. Many patients with depression. Because I get, as a cardiologist, I should get only heart, heart patients. But no, no. In, whenever I have sort of started this project, then I get patients from all over the country and abroad as well. People discuss few, their problems and then we tell them how to go about it. And then yeah, slowly... When I asked you that, are you a psychologist or a psychiatrist? You yeah, said, no, I'm a cardiologist. I, after my MBBS, actually, I had appeared for IAS and psychology was my, my subject. So immediately after MBBS, I was very interested in psychology. And uh, so I read psychology in those days. And that came into my life, you know. Yeah. Understood the Whenever psychology. I see your uh, TV shows, yeah. I always see like as if you are a psychiatrist or you are a psychologist. No, I am not a psychiatrist, but okay. I, I understand psychology. So it is clear that uh, any bipolar or any depression yeah. or any sort of patient, they should yeah. not go for Obsession, now. no, but the ini only, only initially, but as we give them less number of thoughts, like we give them less number of thoughts, they for, sort of, for they, example? yeah, we don't give them cluster of thoughts. With cluster of thoughts, they will become more ill. They'll okay. be confused, yeah. and the further loss of insight will be there. We give them one, one thought. I'll just give them one thought, For and then help them psychologically, and the whole family helps them in the beginning, maybe one For week, example? two weeks, three weeks. Just I say, I, I just give a thought to them that I'm a peaceful being. Just one thought. feel this again and again. Just and, one thought. And how do they um, uh, uh, control their anger, or how do they? Then slowly, number of thoughts decrease. I'll tell you what is uh, schizophrenia or what is depression on this. Yeah, and do then tell. you will understand it better. Do How? Okay. Well, what, 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 what is the meaning of schizophrenia or uh, depression? I would like depression. to hear it in detail. Yeah. Sure. I am I am a doctor uh, Sharda Sharma and gynecologist. Uh, I want to know ki whether uh, there is a f if there is a fear of close spaces when there is a there is a heart uh, problem of the heart may happen is it true yes it does happen it can happen because that that too when there's a heart problem because of close spaces means there may be less oxygen you feel clustered inside and you mm. may feel that less lack, lack of oxygen yeah. especially in bathrooms you know small bathrooms when you go inside if and you close the rooms if you one yeah. wants to go in the tunnel or this right. then dark that, 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 that's basically phobia also, right? Yes. That is a phobia that, also. That will also go with yeah, meditation? That, that, yes, it, it will disappear. It can, agoraphobia or anything of that sort of thing. Om Shanti. Yes, please. Any other question Then I should start? I think it's 5.30 now. Shall I start? Yes, I'll start. Now. So one minute of silence again. And then whenever we are thinking about meditation or one minute of silence, just go inside and feel this happening or feel this thought, feel the thought inside that I'm a being and not the body. I'm a peaceful being, I'm a shining star, I'm a twinkling star, right? In the center of the forehead and I make the body function, right? Okay, just feel that, that feeling, that for a minute you feel this, have this feeling. Om Shanti. See, we have the mysteries of the mind. I'll, I'm talking about that. Now, we are souls, human being, right? Human plus being. We are beings. What is the seat of the soul? Where the soul is located in the body? Where the driver should be sitting in the car? Anyone? Where the driver sits in the car? Where there's a steering, there's a clutch, brake, accelerator, light, horn, right? All the controls are there. Which is the part of the body where all the controls are there? Yes? Huh? Kya kare? Frontal lobe. Is it frontal lobe? Hanji? Hypothalamus? Hanji? Limbic system? Limbic system is control, control room of the brain? 
Yes. Everyone agrees with limbic system? Hypothalamus? Pituitary? Pineal? Pituitary? Pituitary is endocrinal gland. Okay. So we have, uh, it is the center of the forehead, you know, we, we, they must be, you must be hearing, the, it is the, dono, the, the, the we call them eyebrows, right? Cent, this, in the name of Brukti. Dono Brukti ke madhye, nasion jahan par hai na, it is nasion, anatomically, you go about two and a half inches behind this point and three inches beyond, below this point. Where, do, where two lines intersect, that is the seat of the soul. And it is the, basically, I think I'll make a diagram on the board. We have the right brain. And the left brain. And here is... Hypothalamus, right? Hypothalamus is brain of the brains. Is the control room of both the, both right and left brain. Right and left brain, they have got control room. They are the control room for various. Uh, they are different areas in the cortex, right? For different motor area, sensory area, visual area, speech area, you know, frontal area, the prefrontal area, right? The auditory area. Different areas are there. And the, then both the brains are basically all the information is, comes to the hypothalamus. And hypothalamus, the suprachiasmatic nucleus, is a, there is a, what is that? What is, what is there in that suprachiasmatic nucleus? That is the, uh, we call it master clock. Biological master clock is there in the, in the brain, in the hypothalamus which if you go according to master clock, there's a time to sleep, there's time to get up, time for meditation, time for walk, time for breakfast, time for lunch, time for dinner, time for effi best efficiency, you know, for, for your work. So if you go, follow that, that is a master clock, and that the clock is also present in different organs of the body. But the, that is a master clock, and then this is hypothalamus, and then there's a pituitary, right? below that. And then we have the lower brain, that is midbrain, then we have pons, then we have medulla, right? We have the first nerve coming, second nerve, optic nerve, third, fourth, sixth nerve, for to move the eyes, fifth nerve, two parts, one is sensory part for the face and up to the this part and the third, part, second part is for the mastication. Seven is for the muscles of the face for expression. All the types of expression we do it with the seventh nerve: anger, sorrow, depression, whatever, frowning, hate, hatred. We can show with this seventh nerve. Eighth nerve again has two parts. One is for auditory part and second is for three-dimensional balance, right? 3D balance. Ninth nerve is our for the speech. Tenth nerve, vagus for deglutition, swallowing the food. Eleventh nerve is like an emergency break. It supplies the trephagius and the sternocleidomastoid. Suppose you are eating the food and you, someone says, will you take more? How do you speak? You can't speak. Then how do you say? Yes? No. This is like emergency break. You can say yes or no during emergency. Right? And twelfth nerve is for hypoglossal nerve, for the, for the tongue. Now, from the hypothalamus, you have got two tracts which come from the hypothalamus. One is sympathetic tract. One is parasympathetic tract. Okay. And from this, these two these two systems, the autonomic nervous system, they are going to each and every nerve. They are present also in the nose. Fibers are going to the nose, eyes, ears, face, everywhere. Rather, eight nerves in the neck, twelve in the back, then five, and then five below. Then the whole body 
these two systems are going sympathetic and parasympathetic system right okay sympathetic we understand what is sympathetic when there is alarm when there is emergency any danger this this is working and the parasympathetic whenever we are relaxed it is working okay now so this is our lower brain and this is our higher brain what is the difference between human beings and animals human beings have higher brain is fully developed and the animals higher brain is there but it's not developed they have only lower brain which is developed right now the the we human beings have power of asia which animals do not have when i say asia what is the meaning of asia a for analysis right only human beings can analyze animals cannot analyze right we can do plus minus divide multiply right we can analyze any situation and act accordingly animals can be trained whatever you train the animals they will repeat the same they do not have intellect you can teach a elephant what whatever you teach it will repeat the same thing again and again same monkey even lion you can teach something you go through a fire they will go through fire right but they will not do anything on their own but in any human beings you teach something they can make it much more right kalam went to us for learning the missiles missile technology he learned very little there then he innovated in india many things which are beyond what they were doing right so that is called as iq right that is called as intelligent quotient second is synthesis s for synthesis that is called as eq see whatever i have analyzed is it it is good for me fine but is it good for my family is it good for my where i work job place that is called as emotional intelligence right you may be very good in iq but today people are very good in iq but they are not so good in eq that's why there are fights in the house there is a disturbance at the job place right previously in the corporate sector we were taking people with high iq level but but the way they saw the production is very poor they are not able to take help of other people they are not able to take the people along production is very less but once they once then they, they then they said no instead of going people with people with high iq it is better to go with people with moderate iq and with high eq so they can cooperate the people they can take, take cooperation of everyone for better productions right so today we go for eq right then third thing is i i means integration integration means sq whatever i have analyzed is it it is good for my family fine it is good also for my industry whatever i am working for my hospital but is it good for humanity as a whole for the whole world see i have suppose i i find a you know i plan a atomic atomic bomb right nuclear energy for a bomb it's good for me my family but is it, is it good for the world it's not good for the world right whatever thing i do the same way you can plan that that is called a spiritual that is, that is vasudev kutumbakam right is for the whole world does it make everyone healthy and happy that is sq then fourth is again a a is assimilation that is the latest one is the latest one which has been introduced only few years back that is called as hq that is whatever i have done i have analyzed it's good for me good for my family good for the world but am i happy at the end, end of the day am i happy at the end, end of the day that is called as happiness quotient 
right so these four cues are very peculiar to human beings only human beings can do it animals cannot do it only human beings can smile animals cannot smile any animal can smile yes lion can smile he is the king lion is the king of the jungles he cannot smile right elephant cannot smile no animal can smile do you know of any any animal who can smile yes any animal who can smile monkey no cannot smile cannot smile only in human beings this that the beauty of every human being is smile you may be black you may be you know white skin if you do not smile you don't look nice right even if you are black you are weak your face is you know still you smile you look beautiful everyone looks beautiful right so smile is possible only with human beings right so a person a, he, as a human being is supposed to be having all the four cues iq eq sq and hq right so every human being should first apply asia in any situation and then act okay before applying asia one should not act and what happens with the lower brain lower brain is reactions lower brain leads to reactions so you have heard of, heard about five vices five vices right and these five vices are you know about them them what are the five vices first is lust right second vice is anger third is greed greed is not only for money but it's also for name and fame it's more common with name and fame for name and fame we do so many things right greed for name and fame is much more common than greed for money right then is attachment everyone can understand na english anyone who cannot understand english samajh mein aa raha hai sabhi ko should i speak hindi also in between theek hai okay and then last is ego so these are five vices hindi mein kehte kaam krodh lobh moh ahankar tell me these are actions or reactions five vices are actions or reactions yes dr kura aap batai these are reactions or actions it are they are not both you tell me either one or only one action or reactions these are reactions like right? see all these five vices kaam krodh lobh moh ahankar all the animals they do it in the open right no human being will do it in the open yes ek husband wife there's one husband wife who are fighting in the house because of they are sitting in the house and because of something husband says something to the wife or wife says something to the husband about the mother of the husband then there's a little fight starts and then it picks on and the fight becomes very high very high pitched you know and then there's suddenly shouting and throwing things at each other and suddenly there's a knock on the, at the door what happens right they keep everything bright and then open the door and when the person comes inside he sits he or she sits inside there was some noise was there in the house what was happening no nothing nothing it must be from somewhere else why i heard something your voice no no we are so we cannot stay without you know each other they were almost on the part you uh, know height of separation in that i am i am leaving you i don't want i cannot stay with you so it is never shown in the 
public, right? Anger or greed. Greedy people outside, they don't show the greed. They will, they will show that they are very charitable, right? Egoistic people in outside, they will show that they are very humble, right? Attachment, people who have attachment outside, they will show that as if they are, they do not have any attachment with any, any, anyone, right? Less similarly, two dogs, if they are, they are outside, they will not, other dog, they will not tell the other dog that come inside, then we'll fight. But human beings do not fight outside. They'll go inside and then fight. Husband, wife will go inside and fight. If someone wants to scold the child, her, her child or his child, they will take the child in, then scold. Open, we don't scold. Isn't it? So the, they are not natural to human beings. These five vices are not natural to human beings. They are mistakes of intellect. Right? They are not natural. These five vices are not natural. These are reactions. I see someone's face, someone's features, get attracted, start thinking about that all the time. Get, my mind gets preoccupied with those thoughts. That is lust. Isn't it? Beauty is how much deep? How much deep? Just skin deep, isn't it? See, we, we live with each other as husband, wife, as friends because of skin or features or because of values. Someone is very, very loveful, very peaceful, he speaks always sweet, he has a lot of tolerance, a lot of patience, you know. That is what We go with these qualities. Isn't it? Dr. Kalam was a beautiful person. Was a beautiful person. We were very good friends. Myself and him were very good, very good friends. Was it he had six pack body? Is it so? He had values in life, right? That's why we loved him. Every person in the country, irrespective of caste and creed, religion, we all loved him. Because of what? Because of his values. Mahatma Gandhi was loved for his values, respected for his values, right? And not for his body. Isn't it? So we respect each other because of, of values, right? So lust is a reaction. Similarly, anger is a reaction. Someone says something, you do without. So you apply Asia, will it be there? Suppose you are getting lusty thoughts. Apply Asia, will it remain? Yes. Anger, will it remain? Apply Asia. It cannot remain. Greed, it will not stay. Attachment, will it stay? Ego, will it stay? It will not stay. Right? So basically these five vices are nothing but reactions and we human beings are supposed to apply Asia. But in spite of this, we are not, we are human beings, but we are not able to apply Asia. Why? We all get angry. We all have greed. We all have attachments. We all have egos. We all have lust. No? Why? Hanji? Yeah. So we'll discuss that further. And then these, uh, they are the further, further mental tendencies, negative mental tendencies come because of these vices, right? Lust leads to two uh, negative mental tendencies. One is laziness, and one is carelessness. People have, who have a lot of lust in their life, lusty thoughts, they are lazy in nature. They will not get good sleep, right? And their thought speed will be very fast. They will be lazy, right? And then they will be careless. They will not care for their commitments, right? They are careless. Anger leads to cynicism, that is finding fault with others. And second is revengeful behavior, hostility. 
right and then greed leads to suspicious nature and assuming nature assumptions hindi mein kehte hain shak aur anuman aur phir attachment leads to anyone can tell me mothers can tell me anxiety and fear right chinta aur bhay and ego leads to type a behavior see why the we are having now today about 80% of people have are type a in nature they have a type a behavior right that's why the this coronary artery disease hypertension diabetes is increasing day by day right perfectionist basically type a behavior means they have pressure of three things one is time they are always under pressure of time second they are always under pressure of work third is that they are always under type pressure of perfection they want everything to be done the way they want that's why they are aggressive they are always uh, gunning for things they are always sitting like on a hot seat right competitive polyphysic at the same time they want to do so many things because there is a pressure they do not delegate their work they want to do everything on their own because they believe they are the best right and then second is jealousy then these each one of them has 10 more at least 10 more negative tendencies right so this is how there is a list of negative tendencies and tendencies okay so this is what is happening at the level when you are just working at the lower brain level today human beings are at this level working at this level why the they are supposed to be like this they need to have balance of iq eq sq and hq right but they are not all the disease coronary artery disease hypertension diabetes is occurring because of these psychosocial factors people who have hostility they have got diffuse disease not amenable for bypass surgery or angioplasty cynical disease cynical behavior people will have proximal disease or osteal disease yesterday today morning i was telling you that what leads to what type what type of thought patterns can lead to what type of disease right we can document that this is how this person is going to be we can have we have got those cynical scores hostile hostility scores the anger content scores you know we can all do this psychologically right now this is the higher brain this is the lower brain right dead body also has this it has got higher brain it has got lower brain it has got hypothalamus it has got pituitary it has got uh, sympathetic tract parasympathetic tract right then ha ji kya kare hatred is hatred is a part of the same hatred and jealousy same thing same two aspects of the same coin so these are the now where should the soul be sitting i told you hypothalamus is control room of both the brains right and left brain and this is the seat where sympathetic and parasympathetic system is there and this is also the there's a one called ras ras means reticular activating system not i'm not talking about res, uh, which which makes you awaken right so where, where should the soul be sitting what is the seat of the soul yes you know ramchandra et al study ram he would had who carried out a study on intractable epileptics actually i we carried out at uh, lady harding medical college uh, with uh, referral hospital army hospital and uh, one more hospital initially we carried out a study in 86 87 88 we published we presented this study at international epilepsy congress because i was practicing i started learning meditation in 86 so i started i i used to take care of the uh, epilepsy uh, clinic in rml hospital at that time and then epilepsy we because we know that the 80% of epileptics cannot be 80% of epileptics can be treated with medicines with anti epileptic treatment 
And 20% patients are not helped even with polytherapy. We give multiple anti-epileptics, still they cannot be controlled. These young people, uh, every time we used to get 40 to 50 patients in our clinic. So then I started using meditation for these patients, people with intractable epileptics. I found that the number of epilepsy, the seizures have decreased. They decrease even within a two weeks or three weeks time of teaching them meditation. I used to call them instead of two hours, used to call them at 1.30 and teach them a little bit meditation. And then I told them that they practice these thoughts and it will improve, right? Then I told my, my guide and then she said, you know, then we, we started this study with, a, with another, another, another one PhD student was taken for this. Dr. Usha was there. She was one of the persons who, then she was made the coordinator of that study and then we conducted this study. EG was done, CT scan was done and meditation was given to these people. And there was significant improvement. EEG improved and then this study was repeated by Ramchandran et al. At, in US with PET scanning. And they found that with pa patients with intractable this thing, this was the spot.